Welcome to What The Fuck University. Well, I thought I'd try something different and um, record something different. So, the subject, well, title is How to Pick Up Chicks in Newcastle. You're probably thinking, what? Um, just over the years, like, I used to live in Sydney, I used to come to Newcastle often just to party and hang out with family and friends, um, but since I've been living here in the past maybe four or five years, I've noticed a few other little changes. So, if you're ever in Newcastle and, you know, you want to turn, but you're looking for a chink, this is what you do. Stand there, look at her, she'll look at you, then just go, and that's it, it's done. <laughs> that's what it's like here. You know, it's that simple. Almost any chick will go and do it. Problem is, you have to ask them how old they are, because if you're over 18, majority of the times, they're not. And they won't tell you half the time either. Um, Actually, I've got a funny story of when I first moved back to Newcastle. Um, my cousin, she said, come on, let's go out. You know, we'll ring up the other cars and we'll go out. And I was like, oh, okay. So, my cousins, one's female, one's male. We ended up going to a couple of places, but um, this pub we ended up at, this tavern place, um, there was heaps of people and I mean heaps of guys and they were all staring and checking out and whatever. At that time, I was like 120, 130 kilos, so I was quite big, and um, anyway, I was arguing with my daughter's father on the phone, she, he was like, where are you, where are you, I want to come to where you are, apparently he'd already gone out with his so-called friends, and um, because they have all ditched him, he wanted to come hang out with me. My phone was getting flat and I just couldn't be bothered anyway. So, um, because of how noisy the place was, I ended up in the ladies' toilets. You know, whatever. And then something happened and my phone started playing up. And this chick walked in. Now, I'm about five foot seven and a half. She was like six foot, long legs and blonde. Anyway, she walked in she was looking at me and I'm smashing trying to hit my phone you know I had a few drinks and I'm thinking stupid bloody phone and she looks at me and she's like what's up and I says oh bloody phone you know I was arguing with my daughter's father and all that and next thing you know she grabbed me and just started kissing me and I'm like you know like, what and when it stopped I was like did that just fucking happen or am I just really drunk anyway she starts walking down towards the toilets. She steps into one and go, puts her head out the door and goes, and I just walked and <laughs> cracked up laughing and ran out of the toilets. Anyway, I ran straight over to my cousins and fell off the seat. And they're like, what's up, what's up, cars? And I explained what happened. And um, obviously the male one turned around and goes, which hoe was it? And I've gone, oh, that one over there. And goes, that blonde one? I went, yeah. And goes, that fucking hot one? I went, yeah. And um, the female cousin goes, the one that all the guys are hanging off? I went, yeah. And they couldn't believe it themselves. Anyway, a few more drinks later, my cousin gets me up on the dance floor. Her and I just, you know, doing our thing. I, all I could feel was her pulling me all the time. And I was like, cuz, what are you doing? You know, you know, we're trying to dance here, what are you doing? And she goes, that bitch is behind you trying to rub up against you when you're not even looking. And I was like, oh shit. In the end, we ended up leaving because they couldn't handle it. Like, even though there was guys trying to pick up my cousin and chicks trying to talk to the other cousin, they just didn't like the attention I was getting from this chick. They thought it was really weird and psycho and um, she was blowing off all these guys and half the guys were like, damn. You know, they were alright looking, so I couldn't understand why she was trying to go after me. I just thought it was weird, but hey, you know, I was flattered. Because <laughs> um, I didn't expect it, but I was flattered.
So yeah, that's what it's like in Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia. So if you ever come here and you want to pick up, it's as easy as that. So yeah. Uh,